I will show you how to do a service on DT Swiss launch control forks. Before you start to work on a fork, I would recommend to check if all the regulations and functions of the fork are working. On any air spring fork, it's urgently needed to remove the air out of the air spring before you start to disassemble the fork. It's easy to remove the air with the air valve cap. In the next step, we start to disassemble the lowers from the stanchions. We take a four millimeter Allen key to get the left side of the fork loose. Take care that you turn your Allen key clockwise to disassemble the air unit from the lowers. On the damper side, we need a two and a half millimeter Allen key to remove the compression knob. Unscrew it and take it away. Then we take a eight millimeter socket tool to loose the damper in the stanchions. Just turn it clockwise, half turn. Then we turn the fork vertically down. And start to disassemble all the regulations from the top of the fork. We need a two millimeter Allen key to do this. Start to remove the rebound adjuster. Then, then you can take away the regulation and with a two millimeter Allen key, the threshold adjuster. Just open the screw a little bit and then you can take away the adjuster. The last would be the indexation ring, which you can take away with your fingers. It's just clipped in with an O-ring. To remove the damper out of the stanchions, we need an adjustable pin tool. We unscrew the damper completely to get it out of the stanchions and to get the lowers removed. Take care that you have a suitable bowl under the fork to capture the oil. You can slide out the damper now completely. As there is still oil in the oil chamber of the damper, just put it in the bowl. Now you can remove the lowers completely.
In the next step, we remove the air spring unit to lubricate the air chamber too. Take a circlip plier to do this. Remove the circlip. And try to fix the circlip on the elastomer to avoid any scratches on the piston of the air spring. If you get this done, just turn again the fork vertically down and just slide the air spring unit out of the stanchion. After we've cleaned all the parts, we can start now to assemble the fork again. We will start with the air spring unit. Turn the fork upside and put 5 ml of lubrication oil in the air chamber. We use Superclis 100K from MotoX as lubrication oil. Put the 5 ml into the stanchions. Then we can slide in the air unit. It's helpful if you open the air valve while doing this. Now we use our circlip pliers to fix the circlip in its groove. Take care that the circlip is really fixed in its groove. Next step will be now to put the lowers over the stanchions. Just slide them in the first step only over the first lip of the wipers. Turn the fork vertically and put 7 milliliters of lubrication oil, the same like in the air chamber Motorex Superclis 100K, on the air side into the lowers. Then slide the lowers over the stanchions completely. Now we can screw on the air side to the lowers with a 4 mm Allen key. Turn the Allen key counterclockwise. The maximum torque is 4 Nm on this side. Now we turn the fork again downwards. We take, we take our damping unit and slide it into the stanchions and start to screw the damper into the lower by hand. If you reach the end, you turn again the fork vertically and took your 8 mm socket tool. Then you fix the damping unit with your socket tool while turning it counterclockwise. The maximum torque is the same like on the air side, 4 Nm. 
We can finish now the damper side by sliding over the compression adjuster knob and screwing it on with a two and a half millimeter Allen key. Just turn the fork again and now we can refill the damping oil. The damping oil has a weight from 7.5. On this fork we need 155 milliliter of damping oil. Just fill it in completely in one step. The next step will be to screw the damper into the stanchions. You can use again the adjustable pin tool to do this. The maximum torque is 10 newton meter. Now we start in the next step to mount the adjusters on the fork. First will be the indexation ring. We just put it in its position and push it in. The right position is reached if a line between 3 and 7 would be straight forward to driving direction. Then we take our 2 mm Allen key and the threshold adjuster and put it in its position. Screw it on and turn it. First we turn it completely to the right side. If turned to the right side completely, we should see the position 5 in the adjuster window. If not, we can readjust it by opening the screw, put it to the 5 and screw it. Now we can reach all the 5 possible positions of the adjuster. Then we just put the regulator inside by hand and last step on this side will be to mount the rebound wheel. Just take again the 2 mm Allen key and screw it on. Then we turn the wheel completely to the right again and in this position the wheel must show on the 1. If this is not the case we reopen the screw again Fix it and then we can reach all the 13 possibilities on the rebound adjuster. Last step will be to pump up the fork to your pressure and to build the fork back to your bike. Enjoy riding your DT Swiss fork.